What's going on everyone? My name is Chris Chan, the founder and CEO of Active Age Daytime Senior Care. And today we're gonna to talk about the top five ways to market your new adult daycare business or your new business in senior care. And when I first started in 2011, I had no experience in healthcare whatsoever. And we had just opened up down here in Port Charlotte, Florida. And I didn't know anyone. I had no friends, I had no family, no relatives nearby. So I was completely 100% on my own with no network and I'm starting a brand new business business and I'm doing it in a field that I've never done anything in before. So that being said, there were some important learning lessons that I wanted to share with you guys today. And these are the top five things that I truly believe if you're starting off for the first time in your own business, whether it's adult daycare, home care, assisted living, and maybe it's your first time in this field and you're not familiar with the area or the network, this is the video for you. That being said, the number one thing I would suggest is that you don't know anyone anyway. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go down and you're gonna find out how many different chambers are there. There might be a city chamber of commerce, a county chamber of commerce. There might be other types of chambers of commerce that are specific to your industry. It's, you know, like just even in the surrounding area here in Southwest Florida, we got the Northport Chamber of Commerce, the Ingoa Chamber of Commerce, the Punta Gorda, the Charlotte County Chamber of Commerce. So that's, that's what, four chambers of commerce right there. I would go there and get their directory, okay? And you're gonna pick up a directory and it's going to have all of their information in it. More than likely, they are not going to give you their email list. That's why you kind of have to do it the old fashioned way. But no way are they going to say, all right, here you go, Chris. Here's the entire email list for our entire directory. But what you're going to do is you're going to get the booklet. And then now what you can do is you can pay someone to enter all of those contacts into a email marketing platforms such as MailChimp or Constant Contact, okay? So you're gonna build your first email list, okay? So you get that booklet, you can scan the pages in that booklet off to some virtual assistant somewhere if you'd like and have them do it for you. Or you can have someone in your office or someone on your team or maybe yourself. I don't recommend you doing it because I did it. And if I could do it all over again, I would have tried to hire a virtual assistant to do it. But anyways, build that email list, use all of those resources you can, put the email in there, put the, you know, the contact information there. And what's gonna be nice about this is now instantly, instantly, no one's gonna know you, but you have the ability to you know, blast you know, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 3,000 people that you instantly got access to because of that directory. They may not know who the heck you are, half of them may not open it, but the reality of it is you at least have a starting place where you can you know, share information about your grand opening or your progress or you know, just even places where they can go and follow you on Facebook or YouTube or however you're marketing your business. Number two is gonna be chamber events. Okay, so here you are, you don't know, anybody in the, know anyone in the community, and so you kind of gotta get your way in the door. How, you know, who are you gonna go talk to? You know, do they, do they know what you do? So you built your email list now, now you're gonna to go to chamber events, maybe you've sent out a couple emails, and you go to those chamber events, and they're like, oh, hey, are you that person that's got that new uh, business opening up, that new adult daycare center, or something like that, and you're uh, going to those events, and you're shaking hands, and you're getting to know the, the population, like who serves in the senior care marketplace, who serves, you know, in the, in, in the general, you know, marketplace, like who, who's got a 55 and up community, maybe they're marketing or an independent living community that they're marketing or an area that they're developing that might be attracting like your senior population. You're gonna just learn the area, learn the people, learn the network, okay? And based on this, now you're gonna form relationships that you can go and, and build an even greater relationship with individuals that are gonna be in industry specific to the, the kind of like the areas that you need to market. So that being said, you've shaken hands, you're going to the luncheons, you're going to the dinners, you're doing all those things. And number three is gonna be placement agency. So if you're not familiar with a placement agency, so this is like, the real estate broker for assisted living facilities essentially. So it is an individual who advises families. A lot of times this person that is either running up or is, is an advisor as part of these placement agencies, a lot of times they are plugged into directly all of the discharge planners in town, sometimes with a hospital, sometimes with skilled nursing facilities. So they're the ones that are like getting all of these leads coming in where people are having questions about whether or not this is the time to move their loved one, their mom, their dad or spouse into assisted living, or if you know maybe they should use home care or some other alternative. And this is the great place to plug in because a lot of times, you know, 40, I would say to 60% 
of these leads are kind of waiting, you know, they're in transition. So they're not ready yet. So you might have that remaining, you know, 40 to 60% that is ready to make a decision. They're ready to move in assisted living, but these placement agencies might have that other, you know, the, the, those that are not ready, they might need a place to go. They might need an interim solution. This is where adult daycare can be a perfect solution to buy families time because they're not ready to commit to say a senior living facility. So, you know, this placement agency can become extremely valuable to you because they might be able to refer people to your adult daycare center and do it while those folks are waiting maybe six months, a year, two years before they make that big move. So developing those relationships. And the best part is, is they've already got the in, the relationship built with the referral source, which is gonna be your discharge planner slash social worker in a skilled nursing home or a hospital environment. Number four is going to be your home health care agencies, not necessarily your private duty, because if you're opening up an adult daycare, you might be competing with the home care a little bit. So meaning like if you go into that home care agency and you're like, hey, I want to let you know what we're doing. You know, if they wanted to save on price or, you know, if they needed adult daycare, maybe that like, here, here we are. And the home care agency's thinking, well, that means you're going to take business away from me potentially. So I don't know if I want to do that. But a lot of times what it is in the Medicare home health field, you have a nurse, you have a therapist, a physical therapist, an occupational therapist, a speech therapist and they're going into that person's home and providing therapy services that are covered by Medicare. And so at the end of the day, they're going in for a short period of time covered by their insurance. And a lot of times they're, they're, they're recommending to families like, if they should get additional services or like, you know, they might be like, Hey, Mrs. Smith, you know, and it's their say, physical therapist. They might be, we only have like maybe like four visits coming up left. You know, we recommend maybe that you, you know, bring in private duty home care, or, you know, maybe that you bring in, maybe say, or, or, or join an adult daycare program where you can, you know, get a healthy meal during the day. You can be social, you can be around others. You can be moving and doing exercises on a regular basis to help you, you know, to stay strong. And so, these Medicare home health agencies are going to be a great like kind of starting point as well to introduce your services and to get people that could actually be going to homes and get you know real leads. So this would be the Medicare home health. OK, so Medicare home health agencies, what you can do is buy them breakfast, buy them coffee, go into one of their weekly care meetings and bring your information and share with them for about five or 10 minutes, letting them know what services you offer, where you're located, how it works and see if they have any questions. But the best part is, is let those families know like, hey, here's some free guest passes. Take these into you know, feel free to take as many as you'd like and you can take these into your homes and offer this to your clients you know, as you're kind of leaving you know, those clients, you know, to be on their own, you know, this could be that alternative or that backup for families to give them uh, some additional help. The last one is number five, the discharge planners. I know we talked about how the placement agencies, a lot of times have already built those relationships, you know, but the reality of it is, is that if you're, if you're new to an area and people don't, are not aware of like the services that exist, or you know, they're not aware of the services that you're about to offer. Going to those discharge planners, I mean, these people, uh, discharge planners and social workers, if you're not familiar with the industry, what they're doing on a regular basis is they're, they might have a individual who fell, maybe they fractured their hip or maybe they hurt something and they went into hospital and then couldn't quite go home after that. So they went into a skilled nursing or a rehab facility and now they're like sending, they're discharging someone maybe back to their own home, but maybe they don't have any family around or maybe they do, but the family doesn't live with them. And so the discharge plan is trying to coordinate with the family and coordinate with the community. Like what are some other alternatives out there? What are some other uh, solutions that might exist in this community that could help support you and help, you know, keep that person independent in their own home. So a discharge planner becomes a very valuable referral source, especially for adult daycare. And uh, whether it's in a skilled nursing rehab facility or whether it's in a hospital, either one's a great place uh, for you to start meeting with these discharge planners, developing relationships with them, helping them to understand how you can bring value to, you know, the people that they're like sending back home, because this will be again, they're, they're, they're touching these families. These families are having interactions with them. They're having conversations with them. They are making, the families are making decisions based on what this discharge planner is saying. So a lot of times, you know, the reason why I kind of shared this in this order is because you don't know anybody in town. So sending that email list out is important. You know, the chamber events, like now you can start taking the email list that you're sending out and blasting to everyone. You can actually start 
putting a name uh, of a business to a face. You know, now the placement agencies, these placement agencies are gonna be like more interested in meeting with you as opposed to the discharge planners because discharge planners are so busy. I mean, these guys, are swamped because they're talking to families, they're talking to vendors, everyone's bothering them. They got so many, they're being pulled in different directions between doctors and nurses and, you know, like today's the day and insurance, like we can't service this person anymore, da, da, da. Like these people are crazy busy. I mean, this is a stressful job. So a lot of times it might be a softer approach if you start with a placement agency, because this is a private, you know, individual, you know, it might be their, like kind of their own business owner, or they might have a, a sales team. And, and these people are more focused on just building relationships with the community. So if you start here, placement agencies might introduce you to discharge planners or skilled or social workers, or they might just be able to like help you and, and refer to you because they need a place for their own referrals to go in the interim before they need senior living or something like that. And then of course, talking to Medicare Home Health, because again, Medicare Home Health agencies are super busy. There might be, they might be booked out for, for months and you don't have time. Like you need to get in front of people today. So they might already have breakfasts scheduled uh, on a weekly basis out for a month or two or you know two or three months. And they might not be able to squeeze you in and you know until three months later, but by that time you might be out of business because you don't have any you know leads or any referrals coming in. So this is a strategy I would certainly take as my top five areas. If I'm new to the market and I'm new to this industry and I don't have my connections, this is how I would tackle it in this order. And I would you know, do this not when I open the business, but I'd be doing this six months ahead of time. Just when the idea for the business was coming to light and I was looking for a place and I had at least a general idea of what location I might be in, that's when I would be starting this process. Not like, okay, I opened day one, no one's showing up, now what do I do? So if you're thinking about opening up your own adult daycare business and you're not sure what direction to go in and you're confused and you just know that you want to make a difference in people's lives and you're not sure where to go, visit us online at adcpro.com. Love to help you open up your own someday. Thank you guys so much for joining us on the number one channel for senior care entrepreneurs. Give us a like, comment, subscribe, show some love. And now let's get back to work. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you'd like to learn how to open your own adult daycare center, go to adcpro.com. If you'd like the latest business tips, click here and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Click here. We'll see you guys next time.